Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kanji Takahashi. I belong to Natural Language Processing Lab in Nagaoka University of Technology. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, the presentation. Uh, Japanese orthographical normalization does not work for statistical machine translation. Uh, to summarize, Japanese orthographical normalization does not work for statistical machine translation. Is the same title. So, uh, to summarize, uh, in Japanese, 10% of Japanese words have different notations and normalization reduce a vocabulary size. So, we investigate the effect of normalization on statistical machine translation. So, we compared uh, two experimental set. One is a uh, raw text experiment. The other is normalized uh, text experiment. And the result shows uh, normalization does not improve statistical machine translation. Uh, this is agenda of my presentation. Uh, first, I will explain our motivation. And second, I'll explain uh, Japanese. what is Japanese orthographical variance and how do we normalize it. And third, uh, the effect on language model. And finally, we will show, uh, will show the effect of normalization on phrase-based SMT. So first, uh, motivation. Uh, the field of SMT, the main problem of SMT is a data sparseness problem. Uh, Carson Birch investigate a sparsity and uh, his research uh, shows the half of trigrams in training data, uh, test data does not exist in training data. And uh, Russell research shows uh, orthographic processing for Persian to English improves SMT quality. And in Japanese, 10% of uh, Japanese vocabulary have more than one orthographical var variants. So uh, we hypothesize that uh, normalizing orthographical variants improves SMT quality. This is our hypothesis and the motivation. And next, uh, I'll explain uh, what is Japanese orthographical variants and how do we normalize it. Uh, orthographical variants is the same word with a slight spelling difference. Uh, in English, there is some orthographical variants like this uh, center and center are the same word, but spelling is different. And uh, uh, Japanese writing system causes uh, orthographical variance problem. And uh, <coughs> they have also the same reading, uh, but spelling are different. I'll give you some examples. Uh, this is Chinese character problem. Left one is a old and complex style character. Uh, right one is a simple and newer character. And next, uh, Maybe as you know, uh, in Japanese, there are four kinds of writing styles. So, uh, hiragana, uh, katakana, kanji, and another kanji. These words mean an apple. And next, uh, abbreviation. Uh, there are many abbreviations in Japanese word. So, we normalize it if the words uh, don't have ambiguity. And finally, a katakana. Katakana is a phonographic writing system in Japanese. So we uh, normalize it. Uh, this word means a computer. And the difference is the end of words. Left one does not uh, continue sound, and right one continue to uh, the end of sounds. Uh, this is summary of uh, Japanese orthographical variants. <clears throat> and uh, when we normalize it, uh, for example, I buy an apple can be uh, 24 variation. So, uh, watashi I ga subject, ringo apple, o object, kaitoru buy. So, uh, Japanese 
orthographic variants cause data sparseness problem. And next, uh, how do we normalize orthographic variants? Uh, we have developed Snowman. This is our Japanese word analyzer, which provides word segmentation and the part of speech tagging, and also uh, normalize orthographic variants. And there is uh, many features, but uh, I didn't don't explain in this time. So please visit this site. And when we use this analyzer Snowman, uh, we can normalize uh, 24 pass, 2 into 1 pass. This is normalization. And next, uh, I'll explain the effect of normalization on language model. The reason uh, I investigate the effect of language model is uh, language model is a main part of SMT so our hypothesis is if normalization reduce the size of language models then uh, the SMT quality will improve this is our hypothesis so uh, we compare uh, three uh, uh, experiment. One is baseline and uh, normalized corpus and denormalized corpus. Denormalized corpus is a corpus contains a lot of uh, orthographical variants. So before experiment, uh, I give you some example to uh, how to build denormalized corpus. Denormalized corpus is a <coughs> artificially denormalized corpus built for investigating the effect of uh, when a corpus contains a lot of orthographical variants. Uh, this is an example. Watashi ga ringo kaito means I buy an apple. Then uh, our analyzer uh, segment word and our analyzer have uh, orthographical variants information. So uh, to, to build denormalized corpus uh, which randomly select surface form from orthographical variants information. And uh, uh, we investigate the impact of language models. This graph shows, uh, left one shows the types of n-grams in training data. And the right one is a relative ratio of Enneagram types in training data. Uh, this graph shows the types of Enneagrams with normalization slightly decrease and also uh, the ty types of Enneagrams with the normalization improves the number of uh, Enneagrams. And, but, uh, and we investigate reduction ratio of phrase table and as a result uh, it is a uh, two percent uh, it is a little and uh, next uh, I'll explain the effect of normalization on phrase based uh, statistical machine translation this is a SMT experiment setup we use uh, SMT system, Moses as phrase-based system, and we you uh, use a Giza plus plus for uh, training uh, word alignment, and can LM toolkit is used for training language models. Then we also apply MART tunings, and uh, for training and test corpus we use a. KFTT and N7 corpus. KFTT corpus is extracted from Wikipedia Kyoto articles, and N7 is extracted from uh, Japanese English patents. And for uh, corpus preprocessing uh, in English, we use Tritaga tokenization and lower casing, 
And in Japanese, uh, we use our analyzer to a uh, segment word and the sum preprocessing. And also, we delete ignore ratio sentence for uh, Giza++ plus plus training. This is a test set statistics. Uh, we compare KFTT corpus and NCIR corpus. Then, this table shows uh, vocabulary, out of vocabulary, and the publicity are reduced by normalization. Uh, however, uh, this is a translation result, but there is no improvement on both evaluation metrics, blue and rivies. Uh, this is left one is Japanese to English translation. Right one is English to Japanese translation. But in, in Japanese to English translation, uh, there is no improvement. And uh, <coughs> we can see some improvement in English to Japanese translation. But uh, it is difficult to compare exactly because the surface forms are changed by normalization. And so we analysis why the normalization does not work well. <coughs> and uh, uh, this graph shows uh, real corpus contains low frequency orthographical variants. So uh, the normalization does not work well. Uh, to conclude, uh, our investigation shows orthographical normalization of Japanese language does not improve SMT quality because real corpus contains low frequency orthographical variants. But normalization slightly decreases uh, vocabulary size and uh, perplexity and out of vocabulary. So to conclude, uh, Japanese orthographical normalization does not work for statistical machine translation. Uh, thank you for listening.